My name is Johnny Jones and I've been an Assembly member here at City Hall for the past 10 years. In that time I've taken a keen interest in cycling and I advised the previous Mayor on road safety and on green transport. There's been a huge boost in cycling here in London. Lots of ideas and lots of things happening. And I'd really like to hear your views. I want to know if you think the Mayor is doing the right things in the right place at the right time. And if you've got some ideas, I'd really like to hear from you. So please get in touch with the website below. The current Mayor has kept the plans that were drawn up under the previous Mayor that will achieve a 400% increase in cycling by 2025. I helped work on those plans and the idea was to have a three-pronged approach to London's cycling revolution. The first idea was to have a bike hire scheme in central London. The second was a set of fast commuter cyclist routes running into central London from the outskirts. And then finally a system of cycle hubs in the town centres of outer London. Now, two of those are going ahead, but I'm keen to find out exactly how the plans are being turned into action. Today, looking at one of the cycling super highways here in South London, this one actually runs all the way from Merton in the south up to Southwark Bridge in the city. And the reason that this was chosen as one of the first ones to be set up is because it follows the route of the Northern Line, which means uh, during the year of disruption on the Northern Line, a lot of people will be encouraged to move over onto their bikes. A lot of the route has been resurfaced, which is real progress, but there are occasional potholes still, which always give problems to cyclists. There are questions about whether or not the route can be maintained to such a high level. That's going to take a fair amount of money. And cyclists have also said that having the blue line within a bus lane may cause problems. It may give the impression that cars and buses and taxis and motorbikes won't actually go in the blue space, but of course, they well might. I'm just north of Oval Station on what I think is actually a quite dangerous bit of the cycling route. Now to be fair to Transport for London, I think it's obviously going to have to be improved before the launch. But what you see here is a very nice straight piece of blue lane for cyclists that actually runs out. And I just don't know what's going to happen up here at the traffic lights where the cyclists have got to move over to the right into the traffic. Elephanton Castle is one of the biggest barriers to cycling on this particular route. It's a huge double roundabout that a lot of cyclists find quite challenging. And Transport for London has put in a much safer route that goes around the side of Elephant. The only question is, will cyclists use it if it's not faster than going through the roundabouts? There are various sets of traffic lights along the safe route and if they don't change and give cyclists priority, then cyclists may not use it as much as they should. The route around the back of Elephant and Castle is a nice reminder that cycling in London can be a pleasant, even fun experience. The cycling superhighways are meant for fast commuter journeys, but there's lots of other quieter and safer routes into central London which won't add that much time onto your journey. I don't feel these superhighways will suit all cyclists, but even the quieter routes will get you to work quickly and you'll still be healthier for it. So what exactly will happen when cyclists reach the end of this particular cycling superhighway? Now, London Cycling Campaign has a plan for all sorts of cycle paths and grids within central London, and that would obviously make everybody safer. And if you remember, we're going to have an awful lot of inexperienced cyclists on our roads from this summer because of the cycle hire scheme, which of course is a brilliant idea. But will all those cyclists be safe? Will the police enforce all the 20 miles an hour? Will we actually have safe roads in London with hundreds and thousands of more cyclists? I'm a big fan in believing that the more cyclists there are, the safer it is for everybody. And I'd really like to hear your views on this. So if you'd like to tell me what you think, just get in touch.